Introduction Stress is the most common problem that is faced by every person born on this planet. To survive in this competitive world, people have to fight stress and stay happy. However, the best way that is embraced by many people to alleviate stress is humour. They watch the cartoons or movies related to the humour genre to keep the stress levels at bay. In fact, when people are totally stressed, their brains do not work. Many people believe that they could not fight stress. But the daily problems of working in the office and taking the responsibilities of home will not stop, and so the stress levels in handling all of those tasks. But you have the ability to control the stress, then what you believed about it. This is all possible with stress management. This helps you to take complete control over your emotions, lifestyle, thoughts and the way you deal with the challenges that you encounter in your daily life. Irrespective of the stress level, you can still allay it and take control over your life. In this ebook, you will learn about stress and its effect on human health. Also, you will have a deeper understanding of stress response and the relaxation response. Furthermore, you would learn about the stress relaxation techniques that help you to fight against the dangerous stress, which is the root cause of all physical and mental problems. Chapter 1. What is stress? Stress is nothing but the response of the body when emotions take control over mind. And it is the reaction of a person due to pressure that is experienced by their thoughts, feelings and other physical processes. However, if you are undergoing severe stress, then it is highly recommended to consult a mental professional. This person will understand the reasons of your stress and help you to cope up with it. Many medical practitioners considered stress to be the major health issue. The people who are taking a lot of stress in their lives due to loss of job, difficulty in finding a new job, disease of loved ones, broken relationships, etc., Moreover, many people undergo stress in their life due to hardships that occur repeatedly in their lives. This stress takes control of one's life and become a physical menace for them. Due to stress, people may observe an increase in blood pressure, blood sugar, heart rate and other issues. If these health issues affect the body over and again, then it results in workplace stress and breakup of family and friendly relationships. Moreover, this stress also results in diabetes, hypertension and cardiac arrests. People who are prone to stress in their regular lives will have headache, insomnia, fatigue, depression, anxiety and nervousness. Overall, this affects the life of a person to a greater extent. There are umpteen reasons for the cause of stress. Life transitions, positive experiences and negative experiences results in stress. The person who undergoes stress have higher chances of getting exposed to various illnesses. There are a few reasons that actually drive people to undergo stress, including losing a job, divorce, getting married, insult in front of their friends, financial adversities, having a child, joining a new job, going to pursue a new course, having loss in the business, unemployment, travel schedules, illness of a family member, injured, giving presentations in front of clients or when they are diagnosed with any disease. These are a few things that actually cause stress in people's lives. However, not all the persons who are born on this planet will experience stress due to breakup of marriage, having a child or discrimination, but many will experience stress when they lose a job, breaking up with their boyfriend who they love the most, sustaining injuries and the trauma that they have undergone in their lives. No matter whether the trauma is major or minor one, but this leads to increase in stress levels. Generally, the stress that is experienced by the people in small dosage can be compensated when the other factors that are happening in their lives will make them happy. For instance, a girl who is going to get married will have stress of how they fiancé would be and how to adjust after marriage, but at the same time she is happy for starting a new life and experiencing new things. Basically, the new couple will undergo stress due to planning for marriage and thinking about their long run, but they are elated by the new experiences. This actually helps them to curtail the stress to a greater extent. Generally, when some situation is experienced by a person, he or she gets tensed and take a lot of stress mentally. 
However, the situation can be life-threatening, do not know how to face the challenge and doubt of what skill they would need to use to come out of that situation. If the situation is commanding the person's skill, then it is termed as stress. If a person makes sure that he or she possesses the skills that dominate the situation, then they do not feel stressful. Basically, stress can be something that comes through a situation that a person experiences in his or her life or thoughts that are frustrating, nervous and anxious. Though stress is good as it drives us to be more productive, but severe stress takes a toll on the health. If one understands the situations that are compelling to take stress, then it is quite easy for them to handle it. Basically, stress management is not about getting away from the stressful situations, but learning thoroughly about how the body reacts to the pressure and what skills you need to develop in order to boost your body to adjust to the pressure. Undeniably, learning about stress management is nothing but understanding the body-mind connection to such an extent that you should be able to handle the situations that come across your life with a smile. Chapter 2 Effects of Stress and Ways to Deal It How Stress Takes a Toll on Human Health Many people do not agree that they are undergoing stress, but stress is something that is experienced by every individual when they are taking up a new challenge or experiencing any changes in their life. In fact, life keeps on throwing new challenges at the people and people keep on taking stress to overcome them. In this process, a few people get so overstressed. When the stress gets aggravated, then people are prone to various health issues such as insomnia, migraine, mental health, addiction to alcohol, increase or decrease in appetite, anger, depression, anxiety and cardio strokes. People who experience these health problems due to stress can be treated by treating their stressful situation first. It is highly recommended to consult a mental professional if people are totally stressful in their lives. There are many therapies available to manage stress, especially cognitive behavioural therapy. What is the outcome of stress? Stress is nothing but handling more work than you are actually used to do. When you are highly stressed, then the body will respond as if you are in a menace. When you are completed stressed, then the stress hormones in the body get triggered and increase your breath, heart rate and make you feel tensed. This kind of stress is called as fight or flight stress response. However, a little stress is normal and in fact is very useful. Also, this stress helps people to reach or take a right decision to any situation quickly. This helps them to work hard and finish the task at a brisk pace. For instance, with this stress, you can finish the task within the given timeline and you can win the race. However, the stress that is experienced by the people if lasts for a long time leads to negative effects such as headache, backache and sleeping disorders. Most importantly, this makes your immune system weak and drop your ability to fight against various health ailments. People who are already suffering with health issues when take stress, then their situation becomes even worse. This disturbs their state of mind, make them feel tensed, depressed and nervous. Moreover, this affects the productivity at the workplace and ruins their relationships. What is the best way to deal with stress? There are many ways to deal with the stress, and the best ways to keep the stress under control include finding out the root cause that is making you to take stress in your life, look of various ways to alleviate the stress in your life, and learn myriad healthy ways to get rid of stress and the side effects of it on your health. Prior to taking any of these steps to control your stress, you would first gauge the stress level. Many people would know about the reasons of their stress. Basically, people take stress when they are getting married, having a child or the death of their loved ones. There are many other times where people do not actually know why they are taking stress in their lives. It is the sheer responsibility of an individual to find out the root cause of their stress. However, not all the individual responses to stress in a similar way. The best way to manage stress is to track it. For that, People need to take a notebook and jot down all the situations which actually made them feel stressed. 
In addition, you also need to make a note of how you have dealt with the stress when you felt it. By tracking, the stress lets you know what is actually causing your stress and how you are fighting against it and the amount of stress being felt. After knowing the amount of stress you are taking when you face a certain situation, then you would need to take the necessary steps to control it in a better way. Best Ways to Avoid Stress Stress is a part of human life. Though no individual can get rid of this stress completely in their life, since it is ongoing, so it would be better to find out the ways to cope up with it. Here are a few ideas that one can try to get rid of stress levels in their life and promote sound health. Learn how to manage your time. So when you have a perfect schedule for getting the things done, this helps you to avoid taking the stress in completing the work in the 11th hour. For that, you would need to prioritize the things to be done first and later you can complete them successfully within the set timeline. Find out healthy ways to alleviate stress. Prior to that, you need to look for the ways you are dealing with the stress when you feel it. You can find myriad ways to manage stress, but few may work wonders and others may show no results. So you need to find out what works perfect for you. Take better care of yourself and rest for 8 hours in the form of sleep every day. You need to take healthy food and stay away from getting addicted to bad habits. However, if you want to consume alcohol, take it on a limited dosage. Try to think positively and diffuse all the negative thoughts from your mind. When your mind is driving you to think negatively, then try to put a full stop to those thoughts. When you are worrying about certain things, make a note of them and work on them. You need to learn to say no for the things that you do not want to do in your life. You need to open up. When you could not express your concerns, this gets accumulated in your mind and aggravates the stress levels. So when you communicate with the people, you can vent out what you want to say while keeping the negative feelings at bay. You can take the help of your family members or friends when you are stressful. They will certainly help you to cope up with the stress and make you feel better. At times, it is hard for the people to handle stress alone. They need someone to express their concern and who can listen to them patiently and guide them in the right path. If someone is extremely stressed, then they would need to consult a counsellor. Easy ways to get rid of stress People feel strong enough to deal with the challenges that come across their lives when they are able to manage the stress. There are umpteen ways to get relieved from the stress. However, the ways to get rid of stress differs from person to person, and here are a few common ideas that every individual can try to manage their stress levels. Do exercise. By doing exercises regularly will help people to control stress. In addition, walking is another brilliant way to manage stress. By jotting down the things that are stirring up stress can help people manage stress to a little extent. Express your feelings and emotions out. You need to talk, laugh, cry and vent out your anger in front of someone who understands your problem. You need to do something of your interest. For instance, if you can unwind by swimming, then go ahead and swim for some time to relieve from stress after a hectic day. Moreover, few people like to help others and they relieve their stress by seeing smiles on others' faces. You need to learn umpteen way to keep your body relaxed. For that, you need to do breathing exercises, massage, yoga, aromatherapy and other exercises that make you unwind and relaxed. You can carry out different types of meditation, listen to your favourite music, watch cartoon of humour genre, etc. In fact, laughing is the best and priceless medicine to curtail stress. Chapter 3 Stress and Relaxation Response What is the stress response? Dr. Walter B. Cannon has described about fight or flight response, i.e. body's ability to fight and overcome the challenges in life. It is very important for humans to fight the challenges. There are many researchers who have done through research and found what will happen in the body during the fight or flight response. When you experience any problem, real or imaginary one, 
The cerebral cortex will send an alarm to the hypothalamus and this simulates the nervous system and make changes in the body. When it changes, then you notice an increase in heart rate, breathing rate, blood pressure and metabolism rate. And many people observe their hands and feet becoming cold because the blood from the extremities and digestive system is directed to larger muscles which actually drive you to fight against the problem. You can experience butterflies in your tummy and diaphragm getting locked. Moreover, your vision and ears become sharp. These all things happen when one is in stress and is left unattended. In addition, it again leads to negative effects if it is too severe. The important functions of the body that actually keep you healthy will begin to slow down. Few stress is good and useful since it helps you to take proper steps during an emergency but unnecessarily triggering stress without proper relaxation response will result in umpteen illness. So embracing right mechanism, cold relaxation response can turn off the stress response. When you believe that the situation is not dangerous, then the brain stops to send signals to the brain stem which stops the panic messages from reaching the nervous system. So, when the danger signal is diffused, then the fight-or-flight response will also be diffused. Consequently, the breathing rate, muscle tension, metabolism rate, blood pressure and heart rate will start to function normally. Many mental professionals suggest the patients who take a lot of pressure on them to use their mind in an effective way to control the physiological feelings and improve the health using relaxation response. What is the relaxation response? It was identified that a trigger in hypothalamus causes stress in humans. So to control the stress, people would need to activate the other areas of the brain, which is the relaxation response that is quite opposite to that of stress response. Basically, the the relaxation response is nothing but changing the physical and emotional responses in the brain. When you are trying to lick this relaxation response, you would notice a decrease in metabolic rate, heart rate, muscle tension, blood pressure and breathing. When all these things happen, you would reach a calmer state, thus helping you to lock stress. The best ways to elect this relaxation response include repeat the word, phrase and sound, close your eyes for some time and relax. Or else, sit in a peaceful place for a couple of minutes, carry out relaxation exercises, take a normal breath, stay positive and let the negative thoughts drain out from your mind. By doing the elicitation of relaxation response will give evident results in controlling the stress and its disorders. Any diseases that are blended with stress will make it chronic. So when you are taking stress, use the relaxation response to control it. Chapter 4 Techniques used to control stress Mindfulness Meditation is the best way to drain out the negative thoughts and so the stress, anxiety and depression. So mindfulness is nothing but focusing only on current things but not on the past experiences and the situations that you are going to face in the future. Instead of worrying about the future and regretting for the past, mindfulness lets you focus on the current moment. Mindfulness is not all about zoning out. It needs a lot of efforts from the person's end to bring back the focus to the present moment when the mind is filled with negative thoughts and starts to drift from present to past and past to future. By practicing mindfulness regularly, you can reinforce the joy and relaxation areas of the brain. This is the common solution to fight against everyday stress such as time management, conflicts and agitation. Here are a few mindfulness techniques that are embraced by the people to relieve from stress. Body scan Body scanning will promote mindfulness by letting you focus on different parts of the body. Instead of doing muscle relaxation exercises, you need to do the exercises where each body part is felt and experience the sensation no matter whether it is good or bad. Walking meditation You do not need to sit in one place for an hour to practice mindfulness. Instead, you can go for a walk where you take physically each step. By doing this kind of meditation, you can feel the touch of your feet to the ground, focus on the breath while walking and experience the cool breeze that is hitting your face. 
Mindful eating. When people are stressed, they start to gromandize the food unconsciously. Taking excess food results in obesity and other diseases. So people should be mindful while taking food when they are in stress. You need to pay attention on the meals and should not watch TV, read books or eat in a haste. You need to eat slowly while focusing and enjoying each bite of the food you intake. Here are a few brilliant and easy ways to practice mindfulness in your everyday life. As soon as you wake, you pay close attention to your breaths instead of allowing your mind to wander to the past. You need to focus totally on your breath by avoiding your mind to wander and ensure that the breathing effect is experienced by the entire body. Instead of rushing to the office or colleges, you would need to take some time to enjoy your mornings such as breakfast, the wonderful nature, the sounds made by the birds and the winds blowing from the trees. While coming from the office or school, you need to focus on how you are walking and take deep breath and relax your body to drain out the stress before you step into your home. When you are caught in the traffic, instead of engrossing in your own world, focus on breathing and the incredible things around you. As soon as you reach the destination, you would need to relax your body by breathing. This makes your mind to stay calm. While working in front of the system, if you felt really stressed, then go out and walk for some time. You can use repetitive events such as knocking doors, telephone ring and walking as a cue to relax. While walking till your bus, point or car, you would need to start appreciating the nature by observing the new things or enjoy walking without actually rushing to the car or bus area. When you reach home after a hectic day, you can transform the entire home environment to pleasant by greeting your children and wife. The smiles on their faces when you greet them will drain out all the stress. When you go to sleep, do not think about the past and future. Just throw all the negative thoughts and focus on breathing. By following the above-mentioned ways, you can keep the stress levels at bay. In fact, by completing focusing on breath and the tasks to be performed at that particular moment, you can avoid taking stress. However, you can follow the above ways any time and any place. How to relax when you are in a haste there are a few quick relaxation techniques that help you to keep your anxiety and depression at bay quickly. However, you can carry out these exercises either by keeping your eyes open or closed. In fact, you can do this exercise whenever you are stressed. Examples of places where you can do this quick relaxation include when you are caught in traffic, waiting for a doctor for hours together, waiting for a call from an important person, someone irritating you on call, when you're in pain, when you are in the dentist office, when you are overexcited by your achievements, etc. By doing the quick relaxation exercises, people feel very relaxed, calm and would be able to focus on things without any distractions. The easy way to do this relaxation exercise is to keep the hand below navel. You need to take a breath through the nose and mouth. You need to feel that your stomach is rising when you are inhaling and stomach is falling out when you are exhaling the breath. This kind of relaxation technique is known as diaphragmatic breathing. However, if you find this exercise to be daunting, then you can lie on the floor where stomach touching the floor and start to focus on your breathing. This helps you to relax your stomach muscles besides controlling your stress. Progressive Muscle Relaxation this kind of stress relaxation technique has to be carried out without hurting the muscles in the process of relaxing them. You should not do this exercise intensively and take pain on your body while doing it. For that, you need to ensure to make this muscle tension gentle. However, this kind of exercise should not be carried out by the people who have broken bones and injuries. Ideally, this is the common relaxation technique embraced by the people to allay stress. This is a brilliant way to reduce the tension on the entire body. This is a two-step process where you first need to tense your body muscle and slowly relax them. By practicing this exercise regularly, you can feel the tension and relaxation in different parts of the body. This helps you to fight against the muscle tension that the body experiences when prone to stress. 
when the body is relaxed, the mind will be relaxed proportionally. However, you can blend deep breathing exercise with progressive muscle relaxation to relieve from the stress at a brisk pace. Once you practice tension and relaxing the muscle, then you can take a short procedure to relax your entire body. When you reduce the tension in the body, your body feels less stressful, thus promoting sound physical, mental and emotional health. First, you need to find the best place to carry out this exercise. Then sit at the place and relax yourself for some time and make yourself feel comfortable. You need to wear loose clothes and remove your shoes. You need to relax by doing deep breathing exercise. You first need to tense the face muscles by closing your eyes tightly, clenching teeth and by moving your ears up. Just need to inhale for eight counts and then exhale. You would feel the relaxation while exhaling the air. You would notice your face to be as if you have just slept and woke up. Now, the tension from the face muscles is diffused and you can enjoy the relaxed feeling. After that, you need to tense your neck and shoulder. You need to inhale by counting eight and exhale to relax. You have to continue the same procedure by tightening the chest, abdomen, left and right hand, arm, buttocks, left and right leg and ankle. By doing so, you can distress yourself in no time. Deep breathing This is another relaxation technique that is quite easy to learn and practice. This exercise will release the tension from the body and the mind besides promoting sound mental, emotional and physical health. Basically, people do not take a proper breath when they are tensed and nervous. Moreover, they are not aware of whether or not they are breathing. When people do not take proper breath, then it reduces the oxygen levels in the body, thus leading to stress. Basically, breathing exercise is the best way to curtail stress. You would need to breathe from the abdomen and ensure that this air is passing to the lungs. When you inhale a deep breath from your abdomen, you take more oxygen rather than the shallow breath that you take from the chest. When you inhale more oxygen, you feel less tensed. Basically, this kind of breathing is termed as diaphragmatic breathing. This breathing is nothing but breathing from the abdomen rather than breathing from the chest and nose. However, it is vital for the person to sit in a right posture to reap the benefits of this breathing technique. When you sit is a wrong posture, then it results in shallow breathing and, moreover, this also takes a toll on your back and neck. So it is the best idea to sit in the chair by making your back straight to keep fatigue due to slouching at bay. Here are a few ways to practice deep breathing exercise. You need to sit on the chair comfortably with your back straight. You would need to place one hand on the chest and the other on your stomach. When you breathe through your nose, the hand on your stomach will rise, keeping the other hand on the chest the same. You would need to exhale the air that you inhale through your mouth to contract the abdominal muscles. When you inhale or exhale, the hand on your stomach should move while the other hand on the chest should move a little. So you need to repeat the same procedure for a couple of times, i.e. breathing through nose and exhaling through the mouth. You need to inhale as much as you can so that the abdomen will rise and fall. You need to count as you exhale. If you find difficulty in inhaling the air with your abdomen, then you need to lie on the floor. When you are tensed with the situations that you are experiencing in life, then you need to divert your attention to breathing. You need to completely put all your senses on your feet. You should feel the socks, pressure and other sensations. Take a deep breath and ensure that the feelings and sensations reaches the lungs and breathe out. So you need to repeat the same procedure a couple of times. After filling breath in your lungs, you would need to breathe into your legs and hips and exhale away the tensions in your lungs and other parts of the body. You need to breathe arms, necks, eyes and jaw and drain out the tension while exhaling. Lastly, you would need to take a deep breath and exhale the tensions away. Guided Imagery this is a brilliant and powerful stress relaxation technique that is embraced by the people to relieve from stress and put the tension that the body has taken at bay. 
This technique is nothing but engrossing oneself in the daydream and reduce the stress and tension that one is taking. In this technique, a person has to imagine a peaceful place that is surrounded by greenery and imagine themselves to be very peaceful to drain out the stress levels and anxiety. Basically, a few people feel peaceful by seeing the breathtaking view, while a few feel the calming effects when they see the tropical beaches, and a few feel the serenity in their favourite holiday destination. So, whatever image makes you feel stress-free, you need to imagine the same. Here is the procedure you need to embrace to practice this relaxation technique. Sit in a comfortable position. You can either sleep or sit with cross-legged or sit in a comfortable recycling chair. You need to slowly close your eyes and take a long breath while focusing on your breath to feel peaceful and diffuse the feelings of stress instantly. After reaching the relaxation stage, you need to imagine yourself sitting in the peaceful beach where you are alone. Few can imagine themselves to be floating on the water, while a few can imagine themselves to be listening to their favourite music. Few can imagine themselves licking chocolate, while a few sitting in the woods, and while a few can imagine to be reading their favourite novel. When you imagine a scene, then you need to put all your senses in it. You would need to determine how you are feeling, what it is making you look like, what are the sounds you are hearing in that scene, who is in that scene, etc. You need to pay a close attention to the smell you are sensing at that area. You need to feel the air that is touching your skin in that particular area. You can stay back in that scene as long as you want. You can enjoy the scene thoroughly while keeping your stress levels at bay. When you would like to come back to reality, you would need to count one to ten or twenty and tell yourself that you feel rejuvenated and relaxed. This is the best way to flew to your favourite destination without actually stepping out the room. Self-massage Massage is the best way to relax your body that is stressed. This makes you feel serene and very relaxed. In fact, after massage, you would be ready to take up the new challenges the very next day. This gives deep relaxation to your body muscles and makes your mind burst out the stress. Here are a few massage techniques that are embraced by the people to stay relaxed and kick off the stress. Scalp Soother You need to place the thumbs behind your ears and then slowly start to pressure from there till... and then slowly start to pressure from there till head. You need to make circles with your fingertips on the scalp and massage for 15 to 20 minutes. You would feel very relaxed immediately after undergoing this massage. Easy on the eyes. You need to close your eyes and place the ring finger under the eyebrows, i.e. near the nose bridge, and apply pressure on that area for a few seconds and then release. You need to repeat the same procedure for a couple of times to alleviate stress. Sinus pressure relief. You need to place the fingers at the bridge of the nose, you would need to slowly move your finger from your nose to cheekbone and then to the outer area of your eyes. You need to do this for a couple of times. Foot massage. You need to comfortably sit on the chair. You can either use lotion or oil. However, when you are sitting on the couch, you need to put your foot on the other leg and hand near the foot. Then slowly massage from toes to ankles with your hands. You need to massage underside of the foot slowly in a circular fashion. Later, you need to massage each toe individually. You need to twist and stretch each toe. Massage the ankle with your fingertips and then stroke up from the legs to the toes. You can repeat the same procedure with the other leg. Face massage. This is the powerful relaxation technique that is undergone by many people who are totally stressed with their hectic schedules. This massage rejuvenates and fills your body with energy to take up the new challenges. In order to start this massage, you need to rub your palms. When you rub the palms, heat is generated and now keep that heat on your face. You feel the coziness that it provides. Then you need to take a deep breath and store that breath in your chest and stomach. Then exhale that breath through your mouth. You can do this entire procedure either by closing or opening your eyes. 
However, you can do it as per your comfort level. You need to continue the process of breathing until you feel stress-free. To relax your body, you need to breathe slowly and deeply. You need to keep your head straight and use the thumbs to carry out this exercise. You need to place the thumbs on your nose, a side of flare where you actually feel depression, and push your thumb across the sinus to ensure equal pressure all over. You need to keep the thumbs on your face and then on your neck. You need to massage your jawline in a circular motion slowly until both the thumbs meet at the chin. Chapter 5 How to Stop Negative Thoughts When you have dreadful thoughts, then it creates emotions in your body, which directly leads to stress. If you are able to control the thoughts, then you would certainly keep your stress levels at bay. In the thought-stopping process, you need to let the negative thoughts flush in mind and suddenly you need to stop and kick off those thoughts from your mind. The loud command stop can be used to hamper the negative thoughts in your mind. For that, you first need to identify the thoughts that are driving you to take stress. Examples of thoughts that provoke stress include being on time to the office or said location by friends or clients, worry about leaving the gas or lights on at home, worry about auto accidents on the way to the office, thinking about the failure before taking up the challenge, doubting one's own ability and many worry about money. In order to stop the thoughts, you would need to be highly motivated. However, if you want to kick off the negative thoughts that is disturbing you every day, you need to close your eyes and create a scene where stressful thoughts occurs. You need to think in both positive and negative ways. At a certain point, you need to put a full stop to the negative thoughts and let the healthy thoughts continue in your mind.